We're rolling. All right, so this is the outside of the rig. Um, as you can see, there's two slides. We were inside earlier. That's the dinette, and then that's the couch. Um, we redid the inside of the truck, but we didn't redo the outside. They wanted to repaint it, but uh, we tear things up. I won't lie. Everybody else has nice, fancy stuff. Nope. Our horses like to destroy things. I like to do damage, too. If you look by the recreational vehicle, not for hire sign, there's a few little dings. That's where Hoosier kicked it one day. When he was mad, we took a horse away, so he had to make his imprint on life. There's a ding here. That's where I hit the trash can at Fort Worth when Edwin would say, Get closer to the curb! Get closer to the curb! And I got real close and wedged the trash can between the truck and myself. Um, so here's the inside part of the storage. That's all of Edwin's tools and junk. And if you need to go ice fishing or something, maybe we can cut you out of the bind. Or if you need liquid nails, I, I don't even know what that's for. This belly is a little different than most of the big trailers you see going down the highway. We can put a lot of feed in here. So there's fans back there from the summer. We bought those at Spanish Fork when it was really hot. I keep the pallets up in case it, it rains or somehow it gets wet in here. I have, I don't even know how many panels are in here. So this is just a portion of the panels that we carry with us. The spare tires underneath. This is the air conditioner system underneath here as well. And then if you move down, this is Edwin's tack room and half of Home Depot. He jokes and says he has half the Home Depot, but normally it's the wrong half. So if you need something, we may or probably won't have it. So those are all his little saddles and bridles. I try to stay out of his stuff, so when it's missing, it's not my fault. But it still is always my fault. The horse is here, both from the side. You can put three across here or we're going to step in here let me undo this because I don't want that pad to get dirty if you follow me so if we don't have a bunch I'll take this panel and pin it back anyway that'll go in there once that's set up and then whoever rides here this door will shut and they'll have a bigger hole Everybody rides backwards, so if you ever slam on your brakes, the butt takes the load, not the chest or the shoulder. So there's three. This will shut, and that'll make one, two, and three. So three will go here. You can put two right here. More panels. Remember that 150 gallons worth of water we talked about? That's where it will be. And then it gravity feeds down. And you can water horses really fast out of this big hose here. And no pump, so you're not standing here forever. We carry fire extinguishers everywhere. So we have a fire extinguisher here in the truck. You're going to hit them everywhere. What you see up above, this is the rack for the car. The car is not with us, but this is the rack. Here are the little assisted wood ramps that when the rack comes down, you got to put these little wood things right here because there's a lip. The rack comes down, and you just put the car in reverse. These are the big ramps right here that hook onto the back of the trailer, and it just backs out. It takes about hmm, seven minutes to take the car out. But there's four big locking safety pins way up top, and um, with the hydraulics and the safety pins, Everybody's like, you're not scared the car is going to come down. Well, if that car comes down, we have more problems than the car coming down. So if the trailer were to flip over, it's so structurally strong, it's just going to be like laying on its side. So this unit is built to be strong and safe. It stops really good. It's designed to haul 80,000 pounds of cattle. So eight horses in here and a little car it drives really good and it stops even better you hit the brakes and it will shut down and it's probably one of the safest rigs on the road cool. so huh? oh oh thank you for stopping by and seeing the trailer today and and we have hay and horses and stalls and the inside and the outside and and we're Vegas bound, so I don't know who's going to be in here when we pull out the driveway, but we're taking whatever horses are sound and whatever horses are healthy, and 
and maybe a few we probably shouldn't take. And uh, we're excited, and we'll see you in Vegas.